<laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hello again. Welcome to a brand new week on the Pyramid Game. We have, of course, two teams of two, and the first team past the post on the points pyramid then goes on to play for pounds. Now, we welcome back uh, two uh, celebrities who were with us on uh, the last series. And first of all, a nice round of applause for Susie Quattro. <laughs> Susie, of course, I mean, if, if we go way back, I mean, way beyond last series, you, you were born in uh, Detroit, were you not? Yes. It's like this is your life now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wh yeah. Wh why did you come here in the first place? I mean, Britain is well and truly your home now. Was it a holiday or was it to further your it career? Was, it was originally, um, uh, Mickey Most found me in Detroit in a band I was with, asked right. me if I'd like to make a solo album. I said yes. I packed my bags and I was supposed to be gone for three months. That was 1971. <laughs> <laughs> so you could say it was a little bit of an extended trip. Yeah, yeah, you're more or less Anglicized. <laughs> Now, right? Well, Just I'm still American. Yeah, I know. Well, it's good to have you back on the show. You did so nice well last series, and I wish you luck for this Thank one. Thank you. Let's uh, meet a brand new contestant now on this Monday edition of the show. He's uh, Steve Poole from Manchester. Hello there, Steve. Morning, Steve. Works in the electricity business, but in fact, it's your wife's business I'm really more interested in. <laughs> uh, t tell us what she does. Um, she has her own business selling ladies' laundry. Ooh. Really? So, yes. So, so every Christmas I get a lot of uh, underpants. <laughs> she's, she's a small business woman, is she? She is, yes. yes. Right. And I, I see... <laughs> I thought that was funny too, Susie. Thank you. Uh, and you, you play a bit of football. Now, do you, do you model these things that she sells? Well, yes. It's a standing job with a football team that I have to model a different pair of uh, new underwear every week. So uh, <laughs> they wait and see what I come out with. So whatever you do, your wife gives you plenty of support, eh? That's it, yes. Oh. All right. It's, uh, <laughs> We're getting gentlemen. worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. Yes. <laughs> We've got Steve and Susie here. <laughs> also returning from the last series, put your hands together, please, for Radio One's Bruno Brooks. Thank you. Good to see you. Looking very relaxed there. Because, uh, one thing I didn't mention with Susie was that earlier in the year she was in a Christmas show. And I understand that you auditioned for uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Is that right? <laughs> You're not supposed to know that, but in fact, the one thing you don't realise is I'm still on the short list. For that <laughs> <show>. so... <laughs> the Roddy Corbett of Radio One. Well, no, 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 no. You, you're, you're, a, you're a tall chap, I think, you know, big in talent anyway. Eh? Well, you see, the thing is, I mean, Susie, how, how, how tall are you, Susie? About you, five foot four? You want the truth or the lie? Come on, the <laughs> truth. The no. truth, five foot one and a bit. Five foot one. It's well, the bit that counts, though. You see, you see la ladies can get away with being small, but guys can't, you know, for some strange reason. And yet the best things come in small packets. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, they really do. Per you know? Perfectly formed, perfectly <laughs> formed. <laughs> You'd agree with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Definitely. Well, it's good to see you. Welcome back to the series. Thank you. And we welcome back uh, from Friday a young lady who's already got uh, three hundred pounds uh, from Belfast. It's Brenda McCleary. Good to see you again, Brenda. Hello. Now we, we were talking a bit about you, the production team over the weekend, and decided that you bear a marked resemblance to uh, Ruth Maddock, you know, <laughs> who, played, who played Gladys in Heidi High. So I wonder if on this Monday show you'd, you'd turn around to our audience and give them a quick Heidi High. Would you do that for us? Heidi High. Heidi High. Yeah. You've got. You've got the part. Welcome back to the show. We've got uh, Brenda and Bruno over here. <laughs> and, of course, as we start the week, we remind you of the sounds around like this for a correct answer, this for a breach of the regulations, and this one for the lucky seven. That, of course, is just one of the categories up here. And let's have a look at all six of the crazy phrases right now. We bring you Rick Shaw Taylor, Penelope's Pencil, Pressing Business, It's For You, Two's Company, Bruno wouldn't agree with that, but, uh, and also Peak <laughs> Performance. Okay, so Susie, off we go. Well, they all look dreadful. Um, it's for you, I think. All right, so we have here things that people take, such as a holiday. Things all right? Take. They're not all as abstract as that, I can promise you. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. It starts now. Okay, you ride on this instead of a... Uh, uh, bicycle. Um, it's a big thing. Red, double-decker. Bus. Yep. Um, choo, 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 choo. Train. Yep. Um, you have a little tea. Um, when you stop work, you have a tea. Break. Yep. Um, you take these at school. They teach you things. Um, lessons. Uh, yep. Um, you take this when you make a pledge. You take a... A vow. No, when, when you're in the court, you have to take a... Uh, oath. Yes. Okay, and not four, but next one. Five. Yep. Okay, and this is a, like a traffic... Jump. When you do something wrong. Um, you get a traffic... Oh. Yep. Very good. That was terrific. A fence was the only one he missed out on and started with a grand score of six points.
So the challenge is issued, Bruno, OK? Mm -hmm. What would you like? Uh, I think we'll go for peak performance. <laughs> Don't peak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Seven words associated with a mountain here. Oh, no. All right? Fairly simple one, eh? Associated with a mountain. Have a look at your monitor there, because they're coming up. Your time starts now. OK, um, going up on a rope. Climb. Yes, uh, what, a, a climb? Climber. Yeah, OK. Um, snowy, Austrian, Swiss. Alps. Yeah. Uh, mount, very famous mount. Everest. Yeah. Um, pff, crumbs. Uh, oh, crumbs. R pass. Walk along the... Uh, Way? No. Uh, rounds with bath. No, I can't do that, can pass. I? Yes, that'll do. Um, <clears throat> Right. Oh. <laughs> well, you can do that, actually. You're making up your own rules here as you, you know, go along. Yes, it rhymed with bath. We don't like it to happen too frequently, but bath and path was fine, and that means you've now got yourself four points. OK. Oh. OK, Mr Poole. Uh, two's company, please. Right. Words associated with the word double. Yeah, your example is cross, like double cross. OK, 30 seconds again on the clock. It starts now. Um, it's where children play. It's got grass and swings. A playground? No, it's um, municipal. Park? Yes. Um, if you go over a cliff, you go over the... Edge? Yeah. Uh, when I'm, what I'm doing to you now? Talking? Yeah. Um, if you've got an identical uh, brother? Identical twin? Yes. Um, it goes with tonic. It's a drink. An alcoholic Gin. drink, yes. Um, if I'm doing a play, I'm... Acting? Yes. Yes. Um, you go into something. You, you don't exit. Enter. That's Ex it. Enter. Enter. Yes. Anymore? <laughs> <Hello? laughs> Anymore? Well, I, I don't know. I was confused a moment ago. Yes, no, yes, yeah. maybe. Is it right? And then I heard the little ding dong at the end, and I realised you've got maximum marks there, taking you on to 13. <laughs> okay. Anymore? <laughs> okay. So we need a good round from you now, Brenda. What are you going to choose for us? Pressing business, please. All right, pressing business. And here we bring you seven things <laughs> associated with the word iron. And your example here is electric. 30 seconds on the clock, starting now. What does it do? It doesn't make it rough, it makes it... Smooth. Yeah. Um, you iron a something into it. It's so uh, Yes. Um, a person who would do this. Not a gentleman. A, uh, a woman? No, oh, another uh, word for it. Lady? Yes. Um, you take one of these to make you better. It's a, it's a, it's a medicine. Pill. No, another word for it. Tablet. Yeah. Um, gold. It's uh, metal. Uh, no, unrefined gold. You dig it uh, up out of the bronze. ground. Bronze. No, uh, pass. Pig iron. Um, get them in your teeth. They're black things. Fillings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you did very well. That's a little bit sexist to decide the person who uh, does the ironing as a lady. I guess we all do that these days. But you moved on to eight points there. <laughs> well, of course, there are just two categories remaining. One of those has the lucky seven lurking behind. We're going to stay with Brenda and Bruno because you are behind at the moment. Uh, who's going to describe in this final one for you? Um, should I describe or you describe? You make the choice. Your choice. Oh, you describe. All oh, right, Bruno right. describes. What are you going to choose here? Uh, we'll go for <clears throat> Penelope's pencil. All right. That is the lucky seven. Guess all seven, Brenda. There's a special prize for you. <clears throat> we have words starting with P E N, your example being penny, okay? Okay. 30 seconds start now. Okay, this I would take out and I would collect when I'm 60 years of age. Pension. Money. Pension. Um, I'm black and white and I'm in a colony and I'm down by the sands and there's a, a chocolate bar named after me. And, I've, and I'm, I'm a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pass. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm. I'm Pensive. I'm, yeah. Uh, I wear it around my neck. Pendant. Gold. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the top. The top half of some flats. Right at the top. It's a. Penthouse. Yeah. Uh, I take it. Medicine. Medicine. Penicillin. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You pass to one. You go into the lead with 14 points. OK, so there was uh, no special prize won there, of course. We're left only with Rickshaw Taylor. You need a couple out of this. Susie is going to describe seven things associated with the word China. All right? Oh. OK. 30 seconds start now. OK, it's what you eat your dinner on. Uh, plates. Yep. OK, um, it's what just came down in Berlin. Uh, wall. Yep. OK, um, this is stuff that you throw out. It's... Garbage, rhubbish. Yeah, keep going. Um, um, trash. Yeah, it rhymes with dunk. Uh, <laughs> It's an American term. Um, Rhymes with dunk. Don't know. Pass. Okay, okay pass. Um, not a city, but a, a town. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, th these are what are in our body. Arms. No. Um, they're Muscles. The, they're the, um, 
Oh, God. Skeleton is made out of... Bones. Yep. Okay, um, you want to take... The... Quick figure to get to that skeleton, and I can tell you that over here. Mr. Poole and Miss Quattro have won the game. <laughs> All right, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's relaxing, Boo, now, because uh, we're going to play another game there in the middle. But uh, you, you were matching minds pretty well there, I thought, eh, Brenda? And I, and I love the Heidi High at the top. Thank you for that. <laughs> so, of course, you're going to play again in part two with Susie. But right now, Steve and Susie will join me as we play for pounds. <laughs> Okay, you've been here before, some while ago, but uh, you remember what it's all about, don't Can you? Can I go now? No, no, no. no. Stay. stay. <laughs> For the rest of this show and the rest of the week, if it comes to that. Steve, we wish you lots of luck here, okay. of course. The points we say goodbye to, we hope to say hello to a great pile of pounds. we put 60 seconds on the clock, and the time starts now. Okay, books, poems, um, uh, letters. Touch um, of books. Things, um, things books, found. poems, letters. You do it at night before you go to bed um, to make so your eyes tired. Things you do before. Um, things to um, make you sleep. No. What am I doing? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, okay. Okay, um, okay, um, oh, uh, Spain, um, uh, foreign Tenerife, countries, European countries, um, places you go on holiday. Uh, first word is right, um, and what do you call it? A holiday? Uh, home, holiday uh, it's abroad. A, it's a, a holiday's abroad. It's a place where you go holiday to journey. a holiday. Journey. We'll come back to it. Pass? Um, okay, because we're hungry, because we enjoy the actual process why we of doing eat, why this. We eat. Why because we we're hungry. Yes, okay, next. Um, hello, how are you? Um, salutation, another word for salutation. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. What am I um, doing to you? I'm... Saying hello. Why would no, we say hello? It's a form of Christmas... Uh, greeting. Why would we greet people? Next. Um, okay, by check, by card, Why are you money. Why using Yep, next. Um, okay, oh gosh, here I am up on the moon. My goodness me, wasn't that a nice idea? Nice <laughs> oh, oh, give a nice round of applause there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, you're doing okay there, all right? You've already got yourself £150, of course, Steve. You'll be playing with Bruno in part two. Brenda will be across to play with Susie. We're taking just a short break now. John is in just a moment for the rest of the Pyramid Game. Thank you very much indeed, and a welcome back uh, to the show. Brenda McCleary has got £300, Steve Poole has 150 but of course it is the amount of money won on today's show which determines who comes back tomorrow, so Brenda needs to make some in part two. Let's look at the amazing phrasing up here, a brand new points game, of course. Right at the top, we bring you the old grey bristle test, fit for a pig, <laughs> breeze blocks, over and over, a bit of a dive, and big dipper. OK, Susie, let's have some fun. What would you like? I think... <clears throat> over and over. Over and over. Great old song that was, too. Yeah, I was just trying to think who did that. Uh, yeah, Lloyd oh. Price. Yeah, was it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the check's in the post, I hope. Words associated with the word roll. And roll. the example is carpet, okay? Right, we have 30 okay. seconds on the clock. It starts now. Okay, you toss a for a bet. You a toss, coin? yep. Okay, um, poker, when you, it, it's uh, two Pardon? cubes with numbers on it. Two Lice. cubes, yes. Okay, um, you kick this like for in, in, uh, when you're playing on the field. Football? Yep, just, yeah, okay. Um, you go there to cash a check. Bank? Yep. Okay, um, uh, not a stone, but a, a bigger stone, yep. Okay, um, on my honor. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, roll out the barrel. Yep. yep. Okay. Very good, all seven, fantastic. <laughs> Roll out the battle, we'll have a barrel of fun. Well, that was a very good score to match there, wasn't it, Bruno? Eh? Not bad at all, Not actually. bad at all. Mm. There's a lucky seven up there, of course, in, uh, in these categories. I wonder if you're going to choose it. Uh, let's go for a bit of a dive. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. No, no, I've got, I, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's true, isn't it? I didn't set that up, did no, I? No, you didn't. No, 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 no. That really was coincidence. It is the lucky seven, of course. And if Steve manages to guess all seven correctly within this category, there will be a special pyramid prize for him. We have seven words ending in I-V-E, right? And your example is drive. We've got another seven in the category, 30 seconds on the clock, which start now. Uh, bees would be in this. Hive. Yeah. Uh, a dance. A dance. And um, jive. Yeah. Um, to offer something. Uh, bribe. Uh, no, no, it's... it's... Well, uh, Remember the spelling, not so much the way I've... it's said. To, 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 to... No, pass no, on. No, pass on. Okay, not yes, but no, not positive, but... Negative. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, crumbs. Pass. Pass on. Um, uh, to bring back to life. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> yeah. Let, actually, let, let's uh, let's have a look at some of those there. Yes, you, you were quite right to talk about the pronunciation because it was give we were looking for uh, there yeah. with the offer. Mm -hmm. You got negative, didn't you? Person on the run. What is a person on the run, would you say, Steve? Uh, fugitive. Fugitive yeah. is right. If somebody was a spark out and fainting, what would you do? Uh, revive. Revive. Right. And if you were trying to get away with yeah. doing precious little work, you would? Skive. Absolutely right. Well, that took us a minute and a half as opposed to 30 seconds, unfortunately. <laughs> no special well pyramid prize, but nevertheless, now you've done all right. They've got themselves three points there. <laughs> Right, so as always, we have turned the monitor sets around, and now Brenda is going to do the describing, but in which particular category, we ask ourselves? Big Dipper, please, Steve. Right, OK. Seven things that usually have a slant. A slant. A slant? A slant, you a say slant? slant? Very I slant. say tomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, but we're, not going, to, we're okay. not going to call the whole thing off. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to give you an example, and it is a mountain, right, which has a slant or a slant. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and it starts now. Um, you ski on a... You ski down a... Mountain. No, um... A slope. Ski, yes. Um, it's on the top of your house. It's top of your house roof. Um, children go down a... Whoosh, down a slide. A, yeah. Um, this game, it's in the title of the game, it's that shaped. It's set. Title of this game... The, the title of the pyramid. Yes. Yeah. Um, you pass. Um, it's a top... It's a, it's a long building. A long building? Empire State Building? No, it's in Italy. In Italy, oh, the, the, the entire pizza. Um, you go over it, it's a uh, oh, coaster. Yeah, that was very good. You know, it's a geography, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What was the one that you were, uh, oh, that you passed on? She passed, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, well, let me try one on you then. How about the, the thin end of the... Stick. <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, am I American or what? Yeah, no, well, this, is another, this is another Chicago phrase here. Yes. The thin, thin end of the wedge is Oh, yes, well, I was going to say that. You were going to say that. Nevertheless, you've taken the lead with 12 points. Well done. OK, so you can make inroads into this score now, Steve, if you do well in this round. What are you going to uh, take here now? Uh, fit for a pig, please. Fit for a pig. Seven places where animals live. Uh-huh. Have you taken that on board? We put 30 seconds on the clock. It starts now. Uh, it's where a dog lives. Kennel. Yes. Um, Starsky and Hutch. Yes. Um, it's where a horse lives. In Stable. The, yeah. Um, it's where you've towels and swings through. What is towels and jungle? Oh, yeah. Um, ooh, it's a, a pig. Where a pig lives? A uh, pen. Uh, no. Not a pen. A uh, crumb. If your room's in a mess, it's a pig. Pardon? If your room's in a mess, your bedroom's in a pig. It's a sty. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's where you buy animals. Uh, pet shop. Yes. Um, a rabbit does this. Goes what? through the ground. Uh, burrow. Yes. Yeah, okay. very good. All seven. Excellent. Excellent stuff. I tell you, that was one of those categories where I thought maybe you were going to run out of time, but you didn't. Perfectly paced, of course. This is the, this is the DJ's timing here coming in <laughs> useful, isn't it? And you've moved on to ten points. That's good stuff. However, of course, having said that, there are two categories remaining up there. You're two points behind, so we'll stay with the lads. Steve, you've decided to describe here, have I will, you? Yes. OK, what would you like? Um, breeze blocks, please. Breeze blocks. We have in this category seven things found on top of each other. OK? What? Seven <laughs> things found on top of each other. Your example is bricks, because that's the way that's they're right. shaped, isn't it? OK? So, again, 30 seconds for you. The time starts now. Um, they, you pull them out. Of a, of a wardrobe. Drawers? Yes. Um, you put books on them. Shelves? Yes. Um, you put things in them to make keep them tidy. You have them at work. Files? Yes. Um, this? Chin? Yes. Um, Double chin. <laughs> pass. <laughs> um, you put them on... Oh, you wear them to go to... To, to sleep? Pass. Pass on that one. Um, you put it on the floor in front of the fire. On the floor. Rug? Yes. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. No. Oh! Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, you just misread that, didn't you? Yes, in I fact, did. it was yeah. rungs. You, you, what he said what was right, or rungs. what you said was right rungs, in the description yeah. which he gave, but it was rungs as on a ladder. But the lads have taken the lead, 14 place 12. <laughs> right, so uh, just one remaining here. It is the old grey bristle test, and Susie's going to describe seven things associated with a barber. 
With a... Barber. A barber. Yes, a barber. Okay. It's not an American word for that, I'm sure. I like no, it's, it's, it's all right. Does your hair yeah. and stuff, all right? Fine. 30 seconds on the clock. Time starts now. Okay, a barber. Well, you go to get sure. it done. Yep. Okay, um, you have a quick little... Haircut? No, it's a smaller one. You just yep. go in for a little bit... The trim? Yeah. Okay, um, you look in this and you Mirror. see a reflection, yep. Okay, and you do this to your hair. Comb brush? Yes. Okay, and, oh, goodness me, used to cut people up and shove them back in the seat, and um, they used to make mince pies out of them. Um, um, oh, is that wrong or right? I don't know, pass. Um, this is what they used to have in the 50s. It's a certain very short haircut, very collegiate. It's called a... Cut? Yep. Okay, um, what are these? Yep, well done. You have done it with 17 to 14. The girls win. Hot diggity dog. Oh, shucks and all of that. Uh, nevertheless, well, you didn't get to play the pounds game today, Bruno, but I'm, no. sure, I'm sure you will tomorrow. I hope so. OK, of course, when Bruno will return. Mm. It remains to be seen as yet, Steve, True. whether you mm. will be with us on the Tuesday show. You do have that 150 pounds already. But now Brenda, who's already got 300 of them, is going to go with Susie and myself to the centre to play for pounds. <laughs> Right, OK, so just to reiterate to you, and uh, maybe to anyone who's tuned in for the first time, that if you exceed the £150 won by Steve, you come back tomorrow. If you get exactly £150, you both come back tomorrow. If you get less than 150 then we say goodbye to you with the amount that you have in total, OK? 60 seconds on the clock now, Susie. Lots of luck in this. One minute. It starts now. OK, uh, a sixpence, a tenpence. Coins? Yes, but what kind? Sixpence? Where is it from? English where do we live? British coins? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, and uh, a boa, an adder. Snakes? Yeah. Different snakes? Yeah. Types of snakes? Yes. Okay. Um, because we have a cold, because um, we have something stuck in our throat. Why you go to the we doctor? smoke too much. Why we have a cough? <coughs> okay. Um, oh, uh, um, oh, Australia, America. Um, continents? Um, different uh, continents? Um, different countries? What's the globe called? Where do we live in? It's our... Planet? Uh, our world? It's, yes. Okay. And countries it's, of the world? It's, um, it's a different word for pieces of. It's not pieces. It's... Parts it's of? Places. Yeah. Pl um, Parts of the world. Oh. Um, um, oh. Carp, eel. Winkles, cockles, you buy them. Seafish? Um, sea, um, uh, it's, it's not a butcher, but shellfish? a place that would sell this. What do you call the guy that sells not meat, but... Uh, um, fish carp, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish. Next. Next. Pass. Um, oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> oh, now let's tot it oh. up there. Come on, give him a round of applause for that. They did very well. You haven't turned around as yet, have you, actually, Brenda? So, uh, go on, I'll, I'll try playing this with you. Did you, you, you started, yes, you started off with a good evening, which is great. Of course, the uh -huh. temptation is to use part of the word, isn't it? A good evening, and the headlines tonight are... Yeah, right. right. Things right. the newsreader with Yes, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's right. And what was, the, what was the word which was alluding you? It was fishmonger, wasn't fishmonger. it? Fishmonger. OK, well, you've got 125 there, so <laughs> that's 425 altogether, but we do say cheerio to you. Thanks for being with us, Brenda. That means that Steve returns tomorrow. He'll join us here in a moment, of course. Steve will be back, I'll be back, so will Bruno and Susie. See you tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye. <laughs>